Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the International Fab Talks. We are happy to connect with you, and we're happy to connect with all our celebrities. And today, we have a wonderful person who's going to celebrate his journey with all of us. Taking out time to be on the International Fab Talks is a day of joy for all of us when people are ready to share their expertise, their wisdom, and experiences to empower you, to enable you to understand that life is beautiful. In spite of the ups and downs, one needs to go forward and live life to the fullest. Join me, friends, to invite our celebrity and guest. He is Mr. A.K. Jagannathan, joining us all the way from Bengaluru, Karnataka, India. Hello, sir, and welcome to the session. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir, for taking out the time to be here. I shall go forward and share your profile in an official way, sir. Thank you very much. Dear friends, it's always a honor, a pleasure, and a responsibility to share the profile of our celebrity and guest. Let's begin now to have a little, uh, uh, what you say, input or a little understanding as to who Sir is and from which background he comes. He comes from the banking sector. Let me just clear that for all of you. Dear friends, A.K. Jagannathan was born in Bangalore and he had a schooling in Calcutta and, and as well as Tiruchirapalli or Tuchi they say. Tiruchirapalli, that is in Tamil Nadu, a beautiful city in India. Sir studied at Loyola College, Chennai and St. Joseph's College, Tiruchirapalli. So was a topper in his college days and a university university rank holder. That's nice to be the college topper and a university rank holder is great. And so was awarded the GOI scholarship for his postgraduate studies. So joined the State Bank of Mysore, now called as Mysuru, as a probationary officer in the year 1974, December. Many of you weren't even born at that time. When he rose to become the DGM, he went on deputation to the State Bank of Hyderabad, where he became the general manager before moving over to the State Bank of Patiala. Sir was the CGM at the State Bank of Saurashtra and was elevated to the managing director of the State Bank of Travancore, where he retired in April 2010. Sir has also been the managing director and chief executive officer of the private sector bank Tamil Nadu Merchantile Bank from September 2010 to May 2012. Sir was an independent external monitor for Vijaya Bank from August 2015 till March 2019. Under his leadership, both the banks crossed a few milestones and got professional recognition from various financial magazines, etc. And Sir has written several articles for the for various uh, sources or you for various platforms, you could say it could be the Economic Times, the Financial Express, and IBA Bulletin, now renamed as the Indian Banker on Credit and Management. And Sir has published articles as well. Now, he his 11 articles have been published in the Indian Banker in the last six years. That's wonderful. Sir was also the local honorary secretary of the Indian Institute of Bankers, now called Indian Institute of Banking and Finance, Bangalore, Chapter 1992-93. Sir was also a guest faculty at Southern Indian Bank's Staff Training College, Bengaluru, from 2015 to July 2018. Now, Sir is a wonderful author as well of various books, or in total three books, Banking Finance in 2013, Conflict Management in 2022, and Bhagavad Gita in 2024. And Sir is a wonderful human being, a warm person you could connect with. I have been bonding him over with him over the past few months. A very down-to-earth person, a genuine person, a person who's ready to share time, to respect you as a human being, and to be respected at the same time. Let's have a wonderful session, my dear friends, with our celebrity and guest is Mr. A.K. Jagannathan. Hello, sir, and welcome to the session. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank you very much, sir. So it's always a honor to have people like you share the space with us on the International Fab Talks. I have shared a bit from my side about your profile, but all of our friends and guests and viewers, they would love to hear it from you. How would you define or describe the real A.K. Jagannathan? Yeah. When, when I first came across uh, this Fab Talks through my colleague and boss, Mr. P. Dinakar Rao, this define yourself was there. The very fact I saw that, 
I thought it is a very difficult question to answer. Okay, coming to my own uh, definition of myself, you know, we evolve over a period of time. And the definition will keep on changing. So we are born ordinary people, not knowing anything till 2025. We are innocent except the books. School, you conform to the textbooks prescribed. Write the exam based on the questions from the books you have studied. Then college, same, same thing. Once you have done what is to be known, experiments and whatnot, you are certified as BA, BSc, MCOM, etc. You know this stuff. So the conformity is the question. And in social life also, given a basically a middle class family, a good family following dharma, and uh, go pray to God now and then, if not regularly, uh, you conform to the social norms. Respect elders, uh, you know, be courteous to everybody, etc. So conformity becomes the order of the day and you join the bank. You join any organization, you obey the organization rules. In banking sector, you obey the reserve bank directions. You know, for credit, these are the rules. For home loan, these are the rules. For credit card, these are the rules. So conformity takes you to uh, higher positions also. At the same time, you can't follow the rules and regulations only. Such guys do not go up in organization. They get into problems with the union first. They can't even survive in a branch. So you will have to use your IQ and EQ. The very fact you have studied education and continue to learn on your own. Suppose in the banking sector, you pass your CAIB. That means you, you have added more. What are the banking rules and regulations, uh, you know, credit, accountancy, et cetera, more digital uh, knowledge. So with that IQ, you can solve many problems, but you also require EQ to solve a customer's issue because everything doesn't fall under the rules. Sometimes, you know, you may have to take a little risk outside the regulations also, personal risk, depending on the customer's relationship and your knowledge of the customer. So IQ and EQ are required. And uh, as you grow, you have to develop your IQ. You have to keep developing your EQ. So now I am at 73. Now at this stage, if I have to define myself, being conformity, I would like to have, and having been in top management, the very fact you are in top management, it's one of my own theory. <clears throat> if you have high IQ and high EQ in the top management, say DGM and above, DGM, GM, chief general manager and MD, among that group, if you have good IQ and EQ, you will be a star. People will love you. Because you have enough EQ, you know how to handle a union or an association. You will know how to handle tricky situations with a customer. You know, protect everybody, protect the bank's interest and whatever best you can do for a customer. Now, some people have high IQ, relatively low EQ. You know, they shout in the meeting, non-performing assets has gone up. You simply shout for one hour at 10 o'clock in the morning, uh, the purpose of the meeting is lost. That I call them jerks in American parlance. You know, that matrix, if you draw, right extreme is star, high IQ, high EQ. High IQ, but low EQ, relatively speaking, is a jerk. Then some people have high IQ, but uh, no, low IQ, but low high EQ. They are gentlemen. They don't take risk. They don't worry about the growth of the organization. They follow the rules and regulations, quiet, calm, run the wheels of the organization, gentlemen. Then there are the fourth category, low IQ, low EQ, relatively among the group. They are, they are only passengers. They are traveling first class with a second class ticket. Some general managers don't take the phone morning nine o'clock on the board meeting date in which his own subject is involved. They know that MD fellow will get that data from somewhere else and he will run the show. They are, they are sure. So conformity with a little bit of EQ will, will take you to higher levels. That is one side of the story. But now after retirement, I found there is no charm in conformity. You know, professional achievements, you have reached the CEO, you have done this, you professional achievement, somebody gives you a medal for the organization and all. What is required is content creation or creativity. You won't believe, I don't know, somewhere my granddaughter is hardly two, three years, now three, four years ago, she's seven or eight. We started somehow doing project. This girl on the video will come once in a week and started asking for projects. The creativity was so low that this was the first project we did for her, a two-year-old or three-year-old. An aeroplane with a clip, clip for a cloth. And just 
a pin with a cross and just paste this red color. This was the creative ideas one could do at the starting of the project. Now the child demanded higher standards from us. I will give you three or four examples. I will not take much time on this. Then my wife also joined from the kitchen, all the items in the house, you know, we make use of it. This is supposed to be a windmill from a bottle, plastic bottle. And this is some medical bottle and this is a windmill. And slowly, slowly from the kitchen, this ladle is stuck up forever. This is a kitchen ladle, currently we call in Tamil, and string and, uh, you know, straw. And this is Gujarat or Navratri or whatever is given, kept in the showcase, now used for this Veena. And this is Godridge interior, they left some lot of accessories. So use those accessories, it became a Veena. And I wanted to throw away the old keys, one year it was at home. But since the project started, <laughs> and she slowly wanted guitar and all to be done. I was wondering how to do guitar. But God said, don't lose heart. And then, so we did a guitar. It also, the whatever you call it, I forget. These are all pins for the blouses. So creativity, you know. And, uh, no, sorry, that, that was, and this is a violin. All homemade material, all home material. If at all you buy some, you know, for pasting and... Uh, here some picture. And also. We did 96 projects, Man on the Moon. I'm not bringing everything. Half of them, no space, so thrown away. Some 15 or 20 are at home. Uh, the creativity is very important. And being that creativity, you know, I wrote that book on conflict management. Uh, I, I used my, whatever that matrix I told you, it's my own theory. I wanted to publish in Harvard Business Review. So I initially wrote what is uh, IQ, what is EQ definition. I sent it off in a hurry. I didn't consult any doctor, doctorate, anybody. Obviously, they said nine weeks later, they said, put it in another form. Another nine weeks later, you wait. Then said, sorry, we are not able to take it. Please keep on sending. Then I put it inside for one year as a morning. Then I took it out, brought the matrix to the first page, and did about 10 pages, sent it to the Indian banker. It got published. It is the original publication. I'm still sure that, you know, like Star and Jerk and Gentleman and Passengers, and what are the characteristics of the high each uh, matrix guy? If anybody reads it, you know, at uh, joining level or middle level, they can really go up, you know, sort of sharing the ideas and all. Then similarly, four or five books, you know, summary and apply application of Indian situations. With their approval, the book, I called it Be a Winner, Negotiating Life's Conflicts. That book will be useful not only for personal life, but also for official life. And recently, somehow, I was in conflict management. I was searching for Arjuna's conflict solution in Bhagavad Gita. But it was too big to understand. So I borrowed it, outsourced it. But that was at a very high level. You know, conflict with God, conflict with nature, conflict with others, conflict within oneself. Only that was covered. But recently, somehow, I spent last six, eight months. Uh, <clears throat> that uh, Then I brought it into 60 pages. And give a continuity and drew a flow diagram. And uh, so, I got a very good why definition will be you have to be a conformist. You can't throw away the values of society or what is expected of us. At the same time, creativity is very important. In fact, creativity gives you more satisfaction. And something on your own, you have contributed to society around intellectually, academically, etc., that will live forever. So my emphasis is on conformity, maybe 60%, and 40% should be creativity. Beautiful. So that is how I define myself. Wonderful. That's excellent. 60% uh, of conformity and 40% of creativity. That's wonderful. I really like all the projects that you shared with us. Hats off to you for building all those beautiful projects. Uh, it is almost like 96 plus, right? You mentioned that. That's really nice, sir. And as you mentioned, yeah, IQ 96. and EQ. <laughs> yes, sir. You mentioned IQ and EQ. And yeah, IQ and EQ. Yes. I will add and I will put uh, 
this girl at two years, three years was asking for project. Sometimes we don't do, we are not ready. So I said, today's a ready-made project. I have a lot of boards, sailboats, this board, that board. Kerala, they gave me that uh, houseboat. So we put it on the table and showed her that this is the project, ready-made projects. I mean, you know, combination of the same genre. And we kept an exhibition one Sunday and called 20 flats are here. And children and the parents came. They were a bit taken aback that we two guys, elderly people, are able to do all this. Now, that is the point I'm trying to say is this girl is now in third standard, getting over, going to fourth standard in Hyderabad. Now, to my surprise, when WhatsApp come, this girl one year before has published a book with brick, Bree.com, some Singapore-based, uh, very colorfully printed, and she never told us. Only one WhatsApp came, you know, her name is there. And second book, she has the one is called The Kind Peacock, about nine pages. Then about 18 pages, another one is uh, The Ocean. There's a stop board inside the ocean. Somebody says, don't go there, it is a trap. I said, where did you get this idea of stop board in an ocean, inside the ocean? She says, I'm traveling, traveling, I see stop board. So the creativity which was inculcated in the 96 projects, she used to, she wanted a bunk bed. She said, I'll put a small toy. She said, no, no, you make that fellow run up a little more, the stair, the stair et cetera. The creativity idea imbibed at a younger age, uh, you know, then the child is able to think on various parameters. So I think that has slightly caught on even in third standard or fourth standard. And she is drawing and all that. She's always on her own doing something or other. And of course, school also encourages, you know, online schooling encourages Olympic, Olympiad for LKG, first standard, second standard. I've never heard of it. So these are all, you know, side effects of creativity. Yes. Thank you, sir, for sharing all those beautiful experiences with us. Much appreciated. Now, sir, we'll come down to your banking profession. What were the challenges that you faced during your banking stint? Actually, you know, the, <clears throat> for initially, even before confirmation, I was put in credit area. You know, credit is the most uh, challenging area in banking. In the sense, you deal with risk. Hundreds of crores. In our days, it's 675s to 2,000. Dealing with 100 crores, 200 crores, 500 crores, bill discounting and 100 crores cash credit enhancement. You know, from MRF, Madras Rubber Factory. We are the lead bank, small bank, but we were the lead. So these decisions will have to be taken in 24 hours, 48 hours, etc. And we are not CAs, but we learn our own balance sheet and financial matters. Uh, to that extent, one has to be smart. And credit, you know, is always given to people selected for this purpose. And uh, the challenge is, you know, my boss, he was not a guide. As we guide, you know, youngsters, we hold the hand. As a boss, we don't say, I want it yesterday. That can be told in English, I want it yesterday. But I want it yesterday, the guy will commit suicide. He will resign and go away, depending on his IQ and EQ, his family circumstances. So the challenge, you know, I used to sit in park in Seshagiri Puram in Bangalore. My boss car will go. I didn't have a car. I'm a chota fellow. So I used to envy him. This was going in a car. I am worried. You know, so I go to British Council, take the books on credit and read it, etc. And later, after you have done two, three appraisals of working capital term loan, uh, then, you know, you're sent for training to State Bank Staff College in Hyderabad for two weeks program on credit. So you learn, you ask all your doubts with the, you know, with the gurus there, like Mr. R. Vishwanath. And then, you know, then you go on doing fund flow, cash flow and all. I finished about 100. So I put a note, boss, after so many years, two, three years, I have done more than 100 uh, working capital and term loan renewals and new ones. Uh, so please send me to your branch. I've been and I posted in credit. I am a Chota, Chota Mo, and you are dealing with big branches, you know, senior people. And they don't talk to the boss, their IPR relationship, interpersonal relationship. So they talk to me, Jagannathan, I want this quickly. Yeah, the guy is waiting, etc. They used to make a request. Why don't you come down and help me to do the appraisal? So these are all, all taken in the stride. Fortunately, we could gear ourselves. I am a MSc physics. We have done quantum mechanics, you know, very difficult area. Uh, first degree equation, second degree equation. 
you know mind boggling uh, so th- this was part of the game so when you have done quantum mechanics what is finance we can always learn it so we could uh, we could do justice but what the boss wrote very good please continue to do the good work i have to go to your branch because the government of india guidelines say after you have to work in a branch for 3 4 years to get your next promotion but anyway boss said good continue to do the work anyway the boss got changed new boss came one day he told him sir i have to go to your branch he said disappear tomorrow he took the permission i disappeared next day after 6 years 6 years straight away in credit. so once you are in credit people always pick you or take you out to credit at the senior level scale 2 you become scale 3 you become post credit branch scale 4 agm nariman point bombay you know bombay is a financial capital so the challenges you know konkan railway corporation was our uh, customer one day that lady financial officer finance officer was a lady she said jagannathan i made a mistake in the check date is wrong can you pass the check i'll replace the check next day i passed the check for 23 crores and next day the check didn't come <laughs> i was wondering my name will hit the newspaper <laughs> economic times at 23 crores in 19 97 is a huge amount no uh, then some of us and i checked up reading came home and phoned up that name lady's name she is abroad some uh, small island <laughs> i was wondering whether she has run away <laughs> and unfortunately it turned out to be all right i don't remember the exact uh, developments so these are the risk and uh, the worst risk is after retirement you de- I, as a gm you are a gm credit only there are five gms i don't get any extra benefit for dealing with risk and gm credit and all direct gdgm branches are attached to you in patiala so you manage 15 20000 crores and the challenge is running a ec meeting every 20 days executive committee who, who sanction the advances credit advances and lastly some personal matters you know promotion this that dada bill medical bill etc that's all half an hour so i start at 10 o'clock i have to read 50 into 52 500 pages I run the internal meeting on that then go to the executive committee and i have to present it in 5 minutes for each proposal or 10 minutes so i used to make a shortcut in a paper one paper you know just not done and tak 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 find 10 minutes so start at 10 it'll end at 2 o'clock or 2:30 then the director will say jagannath now you can take a rest you know th- this is a big challenge i tell you I mean running through to and i this except sleep you know only credit only credit to so at some point of time i told sir enough of credit the change in patiala sir enough of credit sir for ages i have done it please give me something which one you want treasury or operation treasury operations was more difficult union galata was going on as it give me more more difficult one i'll take operations but after retirement fraud because thousands of crores that fellow commits a fraud somewhere of crores and then you know we are called <laughs> please come to mumbai during covid period and the boss do kai covid yeah i am 65 70 heart patient you want me to come why don't you have it online i am ready then they said okay we'll have it on online so i have to go to hyderabad once or chennai once you know these are all in you know, after effects you know we have done our job there are conformities rules regulations everything is on paper in state bank group Now, no hide hide and seek appropriate sanctions are there they can go through it we have nothing more to add but this gives you a little jitter we are all ordinary people though we have never visited a police station except for passport even that we are worried to go uh, or a court <laughs> or a cbi office <laughs> these are the risk challenges and nobody tells you that these are part of the game and you get nothing you be gm it or gm planning just plan budgeting achieved non achieved okay go away Three years over, but we guys, you know, until our last breath, anybody can call us. <laughs> anyway, thank God. Let's see, with three or four, it's all uh, over. Um, so I hope nothing else turns up. But credit is an interesting area, challenging, and uh, we meet big people, finance people. We meet the ball, big people. You know, nowadays you can't meet them. now people will record your photograph and say this fellow was with him so today we'll have to say please come to the office at 10 o'clock so these are gone for customer service you know we used to have corporate dinner from the bank we call all the people in delhi we think we are enhancing our relationship 
but today it will be misinterpreted because the scenario has changed and even if they call for lunch or dinner we we, we cannot go sorry we will not come <laughs> yes sir thank you for sharing all the challenges that you faced and what could be a lot of learning story. yes sir thank you for sharing that very clearly with all the incidents you shared that that's wonderful sir now sir i'd like to yeah would you like to share something else uh, slightly yes. sir, thank you so much for sharing all the challenges that you've been through and that was really nice it was quite scary at times and i really you know that you gave me a shock with 23 crores that really scared me too because as you said that the next day uh, you really panicked a little that the person concerned person vanished but anyway it was solved you said that's really nice thank you for sharing all the other experiences as well sir we'd love to know about your childhood what kind of a childhood you had were you the happy go lucky child or the mischievous one or the shy and quiet one See, the childhood was nothing spectacular because we were a family of seven children five brothers and two sisters and my father was in post and telegraphs <clears throat> anyway who oh, first and second standard was spent in chennai then from third standard went to calcutta fortunately we had some government quarters you know maybe 500 600 square feet to two bedroom house and you know not enough room for everybody so to say but we put in nationalized school baliganj Yeah, and uh, for whatever reason, my sister was taken in the same class, so we were both in the same class. Uh, being a middle class family or little lower than the middle class family, we had only one set of books. But uh, you know, the girls' school starts at seven thirty or something, closes at twelve, and ours starts at two o'clock or something. So I take the books on the way on the road, and I go to I attend uh, my class. and we were too young to know anything all we know is in a government quarters lot of space in between the quarters quarters consists of four blocks four uh, houses you know four flats then there's a gap and the side roads are there one can play etc so the childhood was nothing spectacular only you know by the books go to school till eighth standard and uh, one childhood memory was you know um, maybe i was in seventh standard you know at the age of maybe 12 so you play in the lot of spaces there all people from all flats come there and play possibly i noticed the girl 9 years or 10 years old <laughs> you know you, you keep i mean that is the the blossoming of the flower you know what you say you grow the hormones possibly start operating or something but that's only you play your game and go home that's all we play among ourselves cricket and all that after 2 3 months we left calcutta to trichy and that is one side of the story and there is a bharati temple there is a temple bharatiya is a great etc and uh, my brother put me on for the recitation of some hymns you know the mahishasura mardini uh, so i prepared tried to recite and my turn came i did not do a good job it was an average job and obviously no first prize or second or third prize or consolation prize but you won't believe last 3 years that same aisha sramardini every night i am listening because i like the rhythm it's a you know in english they say yambic pentameter the plum and home with plots is very way this is the eighth step jaya jaya he magisha sramardini samya gabartini sailas hote eight eight steps it runs to 80 lines i love the rhythm of it and of course it is all you know glory to god etc so this i am listening for last 3 years in between some gaps few days i miss uh, you connect that of 1962 to 2022 you see it remained forever underneath then i started this so whatever you learn whenever you learn you know i learned typing when i was in uh, college in loyola college nearby egmore i i am not learning typing to get a typist job or a stenographer's job i went for 3 4 months it has its own uh, difficulties you learn for 5 months then the demands of the uh, academics i left it but you won't believe after retirement you know or before retirement i am on my computer on my home a w e r t left hand i know it right hand i forgot so this a w e r t is good enough 
and i typed my own book 200 pages because i went to sh- local shop but that guy you know comes at 9:30 and half an hour he prays and then he goes to lunch at 2 o'clock i go at 2:30 he comes at 3 o'clock i said this and i have to his handwriting my handwriting he cannot read because this is on high level banking finance 2013 i thought to hell with it yeah sat on my computer started typing on my own so all the three books and i have done it on my own so whatever you learn you don't know when it will help you i learned hindi prachar sabha prathamik madhyama rashtrabhasha and vivesh what is the praveshika four exams i passed then two or three more out of there but that hindi you know i worked in hyderabad patiala saurashtra all hindi only so i can speak hindi straight so whatever you learn you know so it was nothing special childhood was not spectacular we just go to, go to school come home play fortunately coffee and tea snacks is provided by the parents <laughs> uh, so left calcutta came to trichy trichy travel one hour up one hour down same story uh, <clears throat> didn't have even a table even my bsc i didn't have a table and a chair i used to sit on the floor and do my equations on the floor you know all physics equations so that way one has to come up on his own you know it's a, it's a one zone game but if you have a mentor in a parent or a elder brother that would have been fine but at the same time it is available suppose i am a mentor there are people are there are no takers there are no takers they don't want to listen to you so you have to leave people to their own fate They have to unlock their own secrets and their own potential, and, and even close control minimum. Yes. So that is how childhood went. Yes. So I'd like to know which part of uh, Trishna Pali you were studying, Saint Joseph's College. And... I was in Saint Joseph's College, staying at Sri Rangam. Oh God, Sri Rangam! They are lovely temple of, uh, you know, uh, Ranganatha. Yes. You know, my father was transferred. He asked some colleague. He he is from Sri Rangam. He said, "You will take a house in Sri Rangam. Which school? Uh, Cantonment area. I have to take a TVS pass. They give some concession for three months. If you take, and only three buses. Eight twenty, eight forty-five, nine. Nine o'clock, full of office people. I am in the third stop. So eight twenty is too early. I have to catch the eight forty-five. Even for exams, we take the risk at going by eight forty-five bus. If I if the bus is late or I am late and we don't want to spend money no only tvs pass we don't even we don't even keep extra money like these days you know that type of risk but god has been kind as my one of my quote is god is kind god is always kind <laughs> things went well <laughs> that's beautiful so you know even tamil sir i know my tamil but i have not i did only two years of tamil in campine high school anglo indian high school not much but i used to see tamil movies also <clears throat> Shivani is sort of favorite. Uh, I know my Pakka Tamil, but to translate my book Bhagavad Gita into Tamil, I don't want to do it myself. I am looking to a celebrity who can do it. What is the best thing that you I know my Tamil? Even road language also I can talk. Mm-hmm. Pardon? What is the best thing you love about? Sorry, I didn't get you. Pali? What is the best thing that you love about Trishna Pali? Best thing. Oh, best thing about Tamil and Trichy, huh? Yes. Or Trichy only. Trichy. 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 Oh, best thing it's a good society and uh, people are good. They follow, you know, the temple is nearby. People are God fearing and uh, not much of cheating or betrayal or anything. People are good. They mean good. Courtesy. They call you, invite you for certain days like Navratri or whatever it is. Uh, and the school was also very good though i am not a uh, sports person athlete uh, you know pole vault and all first time i saw one good thing was i used to see some names which are new to me because we we are calcutta school only home and school no you know only your names etc but when you see the world you know beautiful name of terrans hickman i used to wonder are hey, what kya naam hai both uh, you know where are they from i used to wonder so like that you know you meet different types of people but basically you know the aim is the same the good thing about thing is uh, rockport is there uh, you know climbing up 
that's the one speciality golden rock golden rock golden rock is a railway this is a rock fort temple of vinayaka you have to climb up to see vinayaka yes 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 is so it the main guard temple. gate or something the main guard gate yeah i mean gate main guard gate absolutely so school was double the distance st joseph's college is in main guard gate so half the distance and it's a very famous college of 130 years old and surprisingly when i was md of sbt i had to visit trichy for my branch then i told my guys yeah my alma mater i'll give a talk so this inclusive finance you know whatever at that time it was called something else so i said i'll they immediately made a pamphlet and some lectures they have every year you know xyz lecture of the year some important person so i am the state bank of like my swami was state bank of tranko i had prepared so well from the banking angle but the father who presided over her he covered half of what i had to say he had done his homework he, i mean you know knowledge is available everywhere even in those days let alone today so i was wondering what is it then i had to modify a little bit and say from the practical field level what is happening and i was very happy and next day it came in tamil newspaper so and so adangam you know adangam i don't know what it means you know he says like this a tamil newspaper it is splashed yes that's the anyway, nice. middle class uh, middle society cost of living is also you know medium not very costly not many distractions no clubs no ordinary hotels of idli vada dosa in sirangam or in main guard gate if you want club and all only few people maybe 1% 2% 3% of the people may be there uh, you know otherwise you, you know you learn there's no opportunity to learn bad things <laughs> yes. so that way tamil varuma sir ha ha ungalku tamil varuma nalla varum we speak tamil at home Oh, great. That's wonderful. That's really nice. That's great. So I thought you were a Kannadiga. I thought you speak Kannada, but then you say you know Tamil very well and speak Tamil at home as well. That's great. Yes. I was born in Bangalore. I was posted first branch. So Kannada, within 10 days, I know my Kannada. I attended a marriage function with the staff members on my first branch. Then Chappali was... Uh, trying to locate then i told him in nimdalwa he was shocked in nimdalwa he was shocked what you are talking kannada <laughs> my mother knew kannada my cousins are in bangalore for 100 years other type of best set of cousins are in bombay they are all dadar people these guys are mysore people i am all over india all over. so you Bad call india. me what kannada or tamil or calcutta I, i don't know it's a difficult question for me to answer i know my kannada fluent many people say you talk fluent kannada but i have no time to learn read, reading and writing that's that's a flaw i have i couldn't spare, spare much time i should have yes yes I, really I talk to and i met a sanskrit scholar kannada scholar i talked to him in kannada only that's what grace yes so what about movies do you have, did you have the time earlier or do you have the time now to watch movies and if yes which is your favorite one See, only in these types of interviews we can come out very frankly <laughs> for others to know also <laughs> see in younger days college or uh, college days paper advertisement will come today the movie release you know we don't know the content we just know the actors some are known some are not known you get a feeling mind thought oh before it goes we should see this movie 98% it doesn't happen <laughs> 98% doesn't happen and uh, only thing you know tomorrow school is starting again after the holidays after the yearly exams so that day we went and met uh, when went and saw karpaham in palghat pal palghat and that was a good movie by kr vijay and all that so occasionally i used to go to you know the beauty of movie in school in calcutta memory uh, childhood memory the school took us to the around the world in 80 days that was the only movie i went to i left at 7th standard or 8th standard middle then came to sirangam you know there are two theaters one is very close walking distance 500 meters other one is 1500 meters the ground is 25 paisa the ticket for the ground they call tarai tarai means ground then the bench 33 paisa and upstairs is some 70 other one is 
and you know we used to go we guys you know youngsters or whatever we used to go for the 33 bench only because we are not in the top class <laughs> the middle class mindset you know so there we saw kunjum chalangai uh, you know it was amazing you know sit in a theater and see and it was a good movie even today the songs of kunjum chalangai resonate in my heart so few movies here and there of late you know then some english movies on the tv the good the bad and the ugly and what not now totally we see only the netflix english movies because some of these indian movies you know this masala has become routine and our intellectual content has gone up i don't want to waste time on silly jokes of uh, so and so you know the level matters you know you spend time for where you 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 require humor in life you require laughter in life you spend a little time on that once in a way but don't i don't spend major time so to that extent even tv you know of late you know after retirement 9 o'clock to 10:30 with the wife we spend a little time you know, three days a week four days a week some urgent matter i'm doing my bhagavad gita forget it i am not there for movies <laughs> day in and day out only this so it's okay but all the songs remain in the mind uh, even during bath i used to listen to music you know selected uh, songs but unfortunately my hearing loss is there now i'll have to remove while bath to the hearing aid that becomes an impediment you know so that also stopped god says sorry you can't do this no music for you khana you don't like no not for you to <laughs> like bought it now you get acidity not for you slowly is cut yes part of life yes i guess so that is how it is technical issue sir am i audible waiting for you yes we had a slight technical issue but everything is fine yes everything is fine sir yes sir So, so start yes 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 so now i'd like to ask you how would you want people to remember ak jagannathan and why see i don't believe you know i'll tell you honestly i've been thinking it over we do annual anniversaries of parents you know it's good you do it you know the i learned it only now i am not a very religious person or a very spiritual person etc because life went on school college work that is a religion work <laughs> service to man is service to god so of late you know i started they say that if you do it it's good for future generations um, okay then i started doing it you know 45 minutes um, and once a year one or two hours etc so we don't even remember our grandfather's name or grandmother's name because we generate name three generations father mother grandfather grandmother their father and mother on both sides if you ask me on this spot only my grandfather grandmother i will know the previous generation i don't know so forgotten we take lot of album photographs of albums uh, every bank has given me a big album now what do i do with 300 photographs of patiala so i have to remove it you know keep few and after my life is over the children are busy where is the time you know once in blue moon if at all the blue moon comes you open it and show it to somebody some guest the guest will be half interested just turn the page for a few minutes and give it away so remembering has no meaning see i have got lot of cuttings i had beautiful even today i cut and keep lovely articles you know intellectually stimulating and new ideas but then you know the books tout history is supposed to be famous where is tout history today that book somebody took it and it never came back to me some teacher wanted it so everything is a life span even my own book of conflict management nobody will be interested after 5 years but somebody who goes through it if he gets benefited he may get a benefit so remembrance may not be required but remembrance happens when something like elon musk has done it will be remembered forever because elon musk i discovered him 10 years before i introduced in my guest faculty as guest faculty I was going to the local college i put his photograph five photographs can you 
identify this guy. He, he, is, he is beyond a human being. You know, he is an expert in Tesla car. You know, he sent his rockets. His first rocket burnt. He lost his money. He was in PayPal. How he is doing Hyperloop. I mean, one individual, one individual, one bank to run. You know, we think we have done great. This guy is extraordinary. He will be remembered. But we are all ordinary mortals, you know. So, uh, material achievements has no meaning at all. Oh, I ran the bank, so what? Oh, I got this medal for this year. Uh, why every year somebody has to get the medal, so-called medal. The point is spiritual achievement. Like God made me to write this Bhagavad Gita in a simple format. In all humility, I am only an instrument, as Bhagavad Gita says. Arjuna is only an instrument. God, it's all predecided by God. I was in conflict management, bonding, dialogue, negotiation of so and so author, and this and that, emotional intelligence and conflict management, transaction analysis and conflict management. You know, different ways of looking at it. And I was looking at Bhagavad Gita, Arjuna, how it was solved. I couldn't get it. I imported it. Now I started working on it. Now I trace the flow. I don't think anybody, everybody teaches chapter four, chapter five for one week. Everybody, I also clap hands. When do you clap hands? When I know nothing and you are an expert, I clap hands. So this one, I spent my time, I, I qualified it, a layman's decode to understand it. 700 verses in 60 pages, big font. It is continuities, I kept it and I drew a flow diagram. I will show you the flow diagram. I don't know how it happened. God gave me that idea. I struggled for one week to get it IT. It's such a silly matter. It's a half an hour job. But I struggled with three, four people. This is a small flow diagram. I hope you see the rectangles or ellipses. You know, this is material dharma. For the sake of kingdom, you fight. You are a Kshatriya, you fight. It's your job. Uphold righteousness. Every religion says uphold righteousness. Be righteous, do good. This is material dharma. But that will not solve the problem. You go to spiritual dharma. You do your duty. Don't expect return. And then bhakti, have faith in God. And jnana, have the knowledge, divine knowledge. That's all. And Arjuna's problem is solved. See, this particular diagram, I don't think anybody has done a diagram for Bhagavad Gita my knowledge. So possibly and it's my own printing, my own cost. I'm trying to sell it myself. So if I go to a publisher, he will publish it, but he'll price it 300, 400. He will take his margin. Every fellow will take his margin and the author will get 500 rupees, which is not worth it. Rather for the love of it, you do it. Do it yourself. Let's see how far it goes. I want to reach 1 million households because it's a small book. It's a pretty small book and I have given important uh, teachings. You know, do good, be honest and all that, you know, it's a very universal uh, teachings. So I think possibly this diagram should stay for a long time for understanding the this big book. That's yes. all, that's all. If I achieve, I not value them. They are all part of the job. You are slightly so remembrance will, everything will be forgotten. All the great books, all the great authors of today will be forgotten. Only few things, you know, may stand forever. <laughs> but I am, this is a 5,000 year old subject, 5,000 plus. So when you're dealing with an immortal subject, and then naturally, you know, your name gets attached to it. Oh, some guy did this. <laughs> yes. So that's how I put it, my perspective. Very true, sir. That's really very nice of you to Go ahead with that beautiful project of the Bhagavad Gita. That's wonderful. So, what about friendship? How do you look at friendship? Were there good friends with you? Are they still with you? Or you have had had uh, friends who are backbiters, who have been backbiters, who have been backstabbers, something like that? One good thing is I never indulge in politics in organizations. I go to my desk, do my work, deal with people inside and outside. Customers outside, inside is staff number. I was a regional manager of 40 branches, 40 managers and so many staff. I go to a branch in Kerala. Kerala is supposed to be, you know, a bit difficult area because Kerala people are assertive. <clears throat> I keep my briefcase in the manager's room. 
go around and say hello to everybody. I come to you. I said, Madam, you requested for a transfer to such and such place. I'm aware of it. It is on my diary. Please wait for the appropriate time. Your TA bill is pending. I was out of station for 10 days for a marriage or a funeral. Please bear with me. The minute I go back, it will be done. 4.30 staff meeting. One guy stands up in Kerala and says, Sir, morning itself, we have told everything. You have nothing to ask. So when you are with them, I don't... When the pay meeting also, I am with them. I am not you versus me. I want this done yesterday. No. What is your problem? Let me help you out. Because I have crossed that road. That's, that's why I have come up to this stage as a leader. As a leader, I have gone through that road. Now I will help you out. Why don't you do this? Why don't you do that? I will come and visit your branch. I will give them hints. So friends are there. But at the same time, you know, some people, you know, who do not concentrate on content of the work. They have no other job than gossip. Managing director. And Chota fellow still too. Big designation. And, uh, you know, some people come and sit in front of me because the tack is opened by me before it goes to MD. They try to sniff around, you know, which we are innocent of. You know, we don't see life as it is. And we are never told, be careful. Normally, you know, God has given some EQ that you don't talk much. But I give them clue. MD is called so-and-so. I said, sir, your paper is on the table on this subject. So he comes mentally prepared. He's very happy that I pre-told him what is the matter to the extent possible. As long as it is official, nothing personal. So friends are there, uh, but you know, to be tell you frankly, I have a quote, like minds find each other. Like minds find each other. Unlike minds go away. Every day I'm putting on my own quote. In the Facebook 24 hours story. And every day I give a story, positive story, forwarded. I receive it. God is sending me in Facebook. I keep it in Y. You know, you can try keep it in reserve for yourself in your name and uh, release it as and when required. Sometimes I feel if I put three in a day, that is too much. People will wonder, what is this fellow? In fact, somebody told me once upon a time, the minute they see AK Jagannathan, they run away. Oh, he will talk about books, read, and all that. So there is a prejudice also for intellectualism. And how many people respond to the positive stories I said? I want the younger generation, the children and the grandchildren to be taught by these people. And one, I tell you, only the chairman and managing director and a top fellow in SBI, they give response to any story I sign, any quote I give. The other people who are okay, average, above average, and little more, 70%, 45 to 70, they don't react. The society is dumb. Only a few people react and, uh, you know, others, you take them for granted. They have nothing to say, some new idea. I have everyday newspaper. I find out something new idea, new way of looking at life. And my day is made. Intellectually, I got some input. Now then, what output I can do? So friends are there, but friends at our level, real friends are few. Because it should match the mental contents. They are free. They are free. That's why I wrote, intelligence admires and appreciates other intelligence. But less IQ guy will not be able to get this. He is not interested. He is lost in politics of the state or the country or X versus Y. We also look to power. I also listen brief half an hour, one hour, what is going on. But my mind is not there. That is just for information. But my mind is, what is it you have done today? So I am trying to, I send positive vibes, positive stories to every day for the last two, three years. And one incident I have to quote here. I am sending this book, uh, you know, ones and twos and fives and tens. And uh, I have to do the packing myself. Now I am general manager dispatch. I am the author. That period is over now, general manager dispatch. Now, uh, yesterday my friend wanted 10 books. So I packed them, etc., etc. go to the post office. Now oh, I have two stents, so I cannot carry two kgs. It hits on my uh, heart. So I have to take an auto. Many times I tried today, I took an auto. 
go to the post office. One guy was only 15 days old, new recruit, because I've been going for a month. One fine morning, 10 days before, he tells me, sir, I see a positive smile on your face. When I see you, I get positive energy. I was uh, amazed. Youngster, 20 days old in a post office, counter associate, I told him, boss, I am sending positive stories, positive vibes every day. And you're, you're using the same word, positive smile. So I put it in Facebook, experiential musings. I said, is there anything called positive smile? Of course, there's a villainous smile in films. I'm not contrasting that. I'm not going to that extreme. But there's a positive smile and a negative smile. You can call villainous smile as a negative smile. But I've never heard a positive smile in any book. I appreciate that guy too. And four days I was not well, one week. I sent my neighbor something urgent, 10 books. That guy asked, Where, what happened to this guy? He's not well. Today I went there and he says, good morning to me. So the point is, you know, <clears throat> now your question was, uh, I forget when I talk. That's one of my quotes. <laughs> your question was? About friendship. Yeah, friendship. So friends, real friends who can talk to each other are only few. The rest of them are there, they receive, they don't respond. Uh, yesterday, there was a beautiful feedback from one of my colleagues. He was my number two in SBT. I was MD, he was CGM. He's a Kerala guy. His children are in Canada. I forwarded the feedback from one Vedic Institute, uh, big, big person, managing trustee. He said, beautiful eight lines he has given, you know, insights, this and that. It will be a part of the study of Bhagavad Gita. This will be included. I forwarded it to many people. This guy replied, this is a masterpiece in simplifying the big 700 verses. I mean, he normally, you know, he also puts only this and, the, you know, heart. But yesterday, he has opened his heart. And two, two three people reacted because he says, I was very close to him when I was in SBT. Not directly. Because that man has put this masterpiece another man responded. So friends are little, you know, but see, as you go higher up, you know, you cannot, uh, they don't understand our language. I'm sorry, even in family, they do not understand our language. Because in a board meeting, when the director asks 30 degrees question, you have to reply at 30 degrees, not at 32. But in real life, I find people beat around the bush. They don't come to 30. They talk about something related to 30, they're at 33, 32. I have to tell them, no, you have not got my point. So sometimes I keep quiet. Why bring out a nuance and create a conflict? I know how to solve conflicts because I've done some work on conflict management. And I know who is a conflict creator. There's a beautiful book, High Conflict Personalities by U.S. author. Beautifully analyzed. That guy sitting in America, he's telling problems in India, in my house or in my circle. So I follow that. I made a summary and put it in the Indian banker. So uh, silence is one form of nipping the conflict in the bud. Don't react. Sometimes some people make statements. Just, you know, this happens in 1950s, but still, it is still there in 2024. Just keep quiet. <laughs> the conflict will not arise. So friends or real friends are very few. And uh, other friends are there just, you know, happy birthday, <laughs> etc. <cetera. laughs> Yes. It should be from the heart. It should be authentic, genuine. As you mentioned in the beginning, I don't know, you're a psychologist. So you could say the word genuine for me. I really appreciate it. One should be genuine and do anything from the heart. Otherwise, don't do it. Or tell them, boss, my heart is not there, but I'll try to help you to this extent. Put it very frankly. Okay, that's it. <laughs> yes. I'd like you now to share your thoughts with regard to women empowerment. This is a very delicate subject. I would put it, I'll go to the other extreme first. You are saying my views on women empowerment, right? Uh, <clears throat> actually, you know, whenever I read the every day's newspaper, sexual harassment is going on, including rape. I used to think even as a youngster, because in our Indian condition culture, we definitely value the the woman's uh, role in society. And I, somewhere in my life, 
I realized that she is the person who is giving life to a life. Nobody else can do it. That alone qualifies her to be something special. But this newspaper every day, you no, know, I feel that the country should make a law, stringent law, that sexual harassment will not be tolerated, and immediate action should be taken. Because if the society, women are safe in society, my mother, my wife, my daughter, my sister will be safe, and I can take more risk and go to Harvard University and study. I can take up a job in Calcutta. My sister can take a job in Calcutta. Today, I want, if I have a daughter, I won't send her to Calcutta. I won't send her to Delhi. And we, we lose the opportunity. No, 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 no further studies. I get married and be safe. <laughs> Somebody will look after you. I, I was called for a valedictory function of Mount Carmel College in Bangalore, courtesy one of my friends. How it happens, serendipity. So one of the points I noted down, you know, convocation address. You convocation addresses or address, it's all written down, not extempo. I told them, please, when you step out of your house, nowadays even inside the house, please take care of your physical security. I said, I mean it. Please beware that you are, when you step out of the house, the risk is always there. Not only from the roads, traffic and all, even from the other gender, because many people look at you in different angles. So that is one thing. Women's empowerment is really good. It's really, you know, this uh, lady retired. U.S. Well, PepsiCo. <clears throat> she was the chief CEO for PepsiCo. <clears throat> and uh, <clears throat> now Sebi chairman Madhavi Butch is making... Indrani, Indrani, no, something. Hi, Indrani, no, Indrani, sorry. Nowadays, you know, immediately I don't get it. Indranui and all that. They really, but they have a lot of sacrifice to make. It's not that easy to make, come to higher levels. <clears throat> but we have treated in my organization everybody on equal footing and respected them. And I appreciate anybody and give credit immediately whomsoever it deserves. You know, that, that is, uh, why, you know, whether it's a lady or anybody for that matter, if something good is done even by a servant or a deputy or some lower person. Give the credit to him immediately. <laughs> because he, he feels empowered, you know. I am one, one type of empowering. It is a must and many people are taking. But in the process, you know, what has happened, the family life, it gets postponed and what not. And its implications are there. But uh, that is the, what you call, sacrifice one has to make. In fact, my daughter-in-law, at last day, is today she has gone to uh, office uh, to have a farewell. Uh, <laughs> she is not very happy because the child is two and a half, go to school play school next two, three months. Uh, she's on her own. She has to take her own decision. So I am not going to, she has not asked me, I have not told anything. But she feels bad. You know, being a CA and all, she says, I'm losing my career. But the company says, anytime you join, one can always go back. But you lose time. Uh, time loss is a big loss. Yes. So, if I would ask you this question, whose life you'd love to relive? If given an opportunity to relive somebody's life. No, no, please repeat. Yeah. Whose life you would love to relive? Any personality or any inspirational figure? See, people, we are, we are advised in school and college that uh, learn the habits of uh, big people, what they do and all. But at this age, uh, everybody's life is different. It's more serendipity than anything. You won't believe this writing of this Bhagavad Gita book Random shot, I rang up somebody, gave me a phone number for my forward, and that happened to be a very big person in Sanskrit and the Sanskrit Academy member for four years. And another guy, deputy, State Bank of Mysore. I don't know many people in State Bank of Mysore. Because this organization culture is different from Patiala. Patiala, where their people are very close, etc. Another guy, he took me yesterday to another person. And the second person was the first person. And the second person, I said, I want a Canada translation. He didn't tell me. I asked the first person, I told him. And he, it appears the first person has landed in his office the day before with another copy of the book he has printed. You see how 
we have brought together and the second person has told my friend my deputy in the organization he said uh, he, the feedback was he has high regards for me rating is very high and uh, he says if first person doesn't do the translation he is going to do it himself so serendipity happens see everybody's life you know in fact question define yourself it's out of serendipity and adversity i had a seat in iim my ticket is booked i didn't take the train because nobody in the family could tell me please go to iim that is more important i took the train to calcutta for a class 1 job after 6 months i resigned my own decision no no parents guided me i was also afraid i am losing my salary but i said goodbye i don't know the job what is the point then i wrote competitive exam ias this that and got into the bar so reading somebody else's book but one thing i did read elon musk four years back amazing so if you ask me anybody's book today one should read elon musk <laughs> that's wonderful that's really nice because he extraordinary guy of course he has his own crankiness uh, you know but that is that is part of human life but you take what you want the good things yes so there's another big question that comes up with regard to mental health there are several youngsters in their 20s who are suffering from childhood trauma they have had a very sad childhood because they have seen their parents constantly quarreling and they have seen their mother being abused or father being abused by either of the spouses and this has taken a toll and now they are suffering from immense childhood trauma and they want they are now into depression so they are trying to come out of it they are unable to come out of that situation so what kind word you have for all of them what type of a message you would like to share with these children who are suffering from childhood trauma and drowned into depression is there something that you would love to share and empower them to overcome all the challenges that they have faced and facing still first of all you know one should be lucky to have a, to live in a house and come up with early childhood in a house where there are no conflicts conflicts should be private parents should keep it private provided they have the room for it everybody doesn't have a three bedroom four bedroom or something like that many of them middle class is two bedroom bombay one bedroom and uh, they don't have the eq the parents should have eq see the life is made when a child is born only serendipity and god takes that person out you come across mr so and so or people like you some friendship develops and you go on a different lane on yourself your father may be an ordinary person maybe a mason maybe a rickshaw puller as we see in newspaper Fortunately, you know, I don't know because I was improving my EQ, EQ. We in state bank, we are sent to thing now occasionally, you know, once in a year, behavioral science, etc. That way, we were a bit lucky, random shot, but we learned for fifteen days. I learned TA. I was sent to NIBM. I didn't go to IIM. God said, "Don't worry, I'll give you consolation prize." So I was one day. I got a phone call in Chennai. So. you go to nibm for 9 months program there 15 days one person beautifully taught us ta apart from that in engel days i was a bachelor for a long time till 32 33 i used to go separating library and i am okay you are okay read already so this type of parents you know unless parents if they come for therapy then you should tell them first of all please negative first of all in the dining table itself we see lot of negative messages there some people wallow in negative messages morning to night it's pathetic so they have to come to you have negatives but talk in private and put it in a positive way look at every person positive side not the negative side now this is bad for a child you know any child, there are many people are in different categories of life income levels and what not house so their life is already made for 80% of them 80% of them not empowered drop out in eighth standard see you won't believe i'll come to the question i'll deviate a little we have a security guy given a room upstairs and water everything free he is running a family with two children one girl and one boy we are here for 5 years so 3 2 years back in covid time or after covid 
the boy and the girl and the, and the girl the lady of stretching her come us come to us and ask directly she tells my maid who is from assam can the children be taught my wife happily said come we bought books handwriting books we bought and gave bought a story book and gave up, apart from their own textbook every day 45 minutes for the boy and 45 minutes for the girl this was going on 5 o'clock 5:30 to 6:30 free free of course no money what money they can pay and what money we need and she has done it in hubli that girl got into crpf she gave food and taught her after the work every day and she joined pcrpf i don't know where she is that girl now one fine after three four months this lady comes and says i am taking them to nepal two months they went to nepal came back should she not start again next site is open they are playing cricket pathetic for us no takers now this guy eight standard or seven standard is rolls his job is what only you spend time and you get your salary you use brain you get more salary so 80% of the population their life is already made in the family now these parents should be told that you have to stop your fighting in front of the child you have to give positive messages encourage motivate them you are good you can do this and there are many people who are volunteers are available to teach the child you know the academic part of it he gets self confidence and uh, maybe he must be put on to a few friends of his age you know then he will gather much more confidence dealing with friends of the same age very quickly if they go to a library if they take a book he will also take a book and read that is how we learned you know one of my two three friends went to the library in school i also went and took that's how we developed that habit unless parents take you to british council who takes my father was i went to british council in chennai on my own take a took a bus from egmore to mount road so this trauma well if they can afford it they have to take medical advice and more medicine for depression it will kill the personality they have to be the child has to be taken out you know visit places of importance maybe a beach you know locally in chennai cheapest thing is go to a beach enjoy the air enjoy the water and one balloon doesn't cost much and somebody to voluntary teachers should be there or pay a nominal price neighborhood in kerala everybody in that road my cgm counterpart was there in kerala circle there was no md md is in bombay sbi the cgm head of the circle she every sunday they help the children in the road this road and that road to come up in life i have seen depression first hand in my family but what is the reason i don't know but depression you know takes you further down and down occasionally you come out then you go back and then hallucination and unpredictable behavior etc but this is happening everywhere madam this society i nobody has calculated many people are suffering from various things because the personality of the father and the mother at least in our age certain things were non negotiable but in today's condition the new generation boys and girls you know my taxi uber fellow says sir i see one o'clock a lady drunk fully doesn't know the address and i don't know where to drop them i don't care for such people he says now so they get married then what type of marriage and society we can have more children what will they do it's the american movies i tell you depressing this is what's happening in america they drink they travel they have communication and uh, imme- close presence and everything is broken and say sorry that's all that's the only word they can talk but i don't know whether i answered your question it's a big question for psychologists and how much they can afford otherwise there is a broken family broken family and uh, one has to do only lower level jobs one can pity them unless the relatives come the relatives nobody will enter they will not be allowed to enter even if they enter uh, no no we we know our job no you go i don't know i i have answered your question or not i don't know <laughs> yes thank you you, you, know, better. That you know better <laughs> you done justice to that question you answered it well what is it that you like about your own self 
Yeah. I go for, I try to improve my standards, standards of thinking, standards of content, intellectual content, specifically speaking, maybe spiritual content. It's good for me also at my age. Uh, you get more peace in spiritually than materially. The material is of no relevance at all. I like the word Mariada Purusha. Possibly it is in Ramayana. I have not read the Ramayana. I know the story Ramayana, Sri Lanka, they fought and whatnot. That story everybody knows. <clears throat> but that Mariada Purusha, he stands for Dharma and righteous behavior. So I have no, I have been very frank and genuine and authentic. That doesn't mean that I show my anger or unpleasantness. I uh, apply my EQ and then, you know, in case one is not able to get along, keep a distance. But even if you keep a distance, if you need help, I am prepared. I am prepared to help you. To the extent God has given me the strength or resources. So I would like to be a Mariada Purusha who will value the good values in life. And by and large, I have not told a lie to anybody. I have been very frank. I have been very open also. I have not kept any secret, so to say. Yes. But of late, I am thinking, you know, if I fall down on the road, I did fall down about two years back. If I tell my wife, then she will not allow me to go out alone. <laughs> so, such things I have to keep quiet. You just fell down and got up, nothing happened. But even now, after 6.37, she says, no, don't go out. The roads are narrow, don't go. I said, what? Yeah, it's a local locality. But forgetfulness is there. No doubt on that. I bought a bunny and paid the money and walked out of Malaysia. Room. Then that guy said, sir, your material is here. <laughs> so that happens, you know, due to age. So Mariyata Purusha, one should strive for. Though there are people, but one thing, whatever you are, the thinking of various individuals are different. It will not tally. So the eyes will be only 20-25%. Others who are different will be 60-70%. Whatever reason they have, we do not know. Let us not know it. That's all. Yes. Thank you so much, sir, for sharing all of this. There are still many more questions that I'd like to ask you. Hopefully, you would give me another session in future as well. But now we have a small round called as the rapid fire round, which will take another 10 minutes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir, for being so polite and humble and shared such a lot. I had a wonderful time, a lot of learning experiences from you. That's very true. And you've shared various incidents, right, from your banking uh, stint to the, you know, to the neighborhood and to the books that you've written, the books that inspire you and your friends, who are the best friends, all of that. You've given a lot of information. Thank you very much, sir. Before I yes. forget, I, I will share a small feedback. You are in great company of many people. <laughs> you are in a very vantage position. I, I, I should really say God's grace. Yeah. Thank Please you so you. much for that compliment. Thank you, sir. It means a lot. Thank you so much. Yes, sir. We have a little small, uh, little round call as the rapid fire round. We'll get to know about your likes and dislikes. Yes, sir. Your favorite month? Favorite month? All months are favorites. Every day is important. I actually have led three, four years. I... Thank God in the night for the day, how it has gone. <clears throat> and morning also, I thank God for giving this day. When I open the door, fortunately, yeah, when I open the door, I can see a small temple opposite. So uh, God has given another beautiful day with sunshine. Uh, I hope we should make the best use of universal time and our clock time. <laughs> so every month is a good thing. And time is running, you know. And, uh, you know, so many good things can be done. But whatever can be done, okay. No favorite month, every month. Any favorite day of the week? There are seven days, your favorite one? Yeah, all days or... All days, I guess that. Or equal. Yes. Your favorite breakfast? No, flat. <laughs> no, flat, you know, even go one which liked it, you know, slowly the dislike is coming. Um, so there is, uh, you know, once upon a time, these noodles were okay. 
and then you know those what you call all the nuts i forget the name you know and so idli vada and all gone passe <laughs> they are not favorite sukuma is not a favorite if at all in a sakra pongal you know sugary yes. pongal yeah that's still there that the tongue for that is there but every day you can't have that <laughs> Yes. <laughs> any auspicious day like somebody's son's birthday in hyderabad so we make sakra pongal and take it and tell him we have taken sakra pongal on your behalf <laughs> oh great that's nice <laughs> what about tea and coffee what is your favorite one a fair good coffee in fact i used to take coffee day coffee from bangalore to bombay when i was 3 years in bombay but coffee day is gone its quality has come down now we get it specially from some specific uh, shop in indranagar uh tea also i take it but you know it's now 70 30 the coffee is preferable your favorite color sir ah uh, magenta you know how i discovered sbt i was putting a lot of every important day of the in- country or the world i used to celebrate including women's day also so we put a book big ad so i created they ad agency is there i added a mother is born when a child is born somebody might have said it also there is nothing great and so at the end of the day when i retired after 10 days that pro department guy came with a big book all the advertisements during my period he brought it i personally clear it and add here subtract there and all i told them put magenta yeah because i saw an ad at that time in magenta color it was striking so all the sbt ads were in magenta and in tmb logo i was in, uh, important person in changing the logo of tamil nadu mercantile bank you can see it is in magenta <laughs> my contribution and my book my printer gave me something i say hey, forget all this i want a white background put magenta and the novel interpretation magenta and back side important the ideas all in magenta and blue so magenta strikes your eye so what magenta represents don't ask me it is striking to the eye of a uh, seer who oversees it yes so that's really nice thank you for sharing what about the name of your favorite teacher do you remember your favorite teacher no i remember my andrews teacher of fourth standard and one sastri who used to routine you know that bulakat uh, uh, chapter oh, how many times you would have taken i don't know i still remember his name uh, one mr sastri calcutta senior national high school baliganj Andrew's teacher. <laughs> you interested in pets as well? Huh? Pets? Huh? Having a pet, yes. No, no, no time for it. We are bit scared because they have their own whims and what not. Humans themselves are enough. Why go into it? And we can't afford it also. And uh, you know, you have to spend time for that. Very true. So to that extent, you have to sacrifice many things. Yes. Huh? so is it socializing or me time what would you prioritize socializing or me time free time me me time like i don't socialize oh, i spend time with myself see our socializing is uh, by and large you know ma- functions you know marriage function betrothal function you know first birthday of a child birthday functions among relatives and a few friends no problem we do i, I do we do attend no problem on that but there are far and in between and we also conduct functions we call them so it's happy to see them also and uh, <clears throat> but it's not a question of you know celebrating life just for the heck of it because uh, you know there should be a reason for celebration we are not party goers and you know go and drink every day uh, you know that way we save a lot of money fortunately we do in corporate finance some colleagues compel me to take uh, this or that so i have tasted beer and uh, whatever wine and what not little whiskey i tell my children i have never drank <laughs> but you know these guys also travel they also travel they are also in work spot and they meet big people they but my other son you know he doesn't go for it so that way me time well we are always busy you know doing something or other also day to day obligations are there local shops buy this buy that we don't use so much of big basket and all that since i cannot carry i tell my local guy you drop me drop it in the house sometimes we do use 
so that way me to learn something repair today i have to call a plumber you have to do this you have to do that the chota and even if everything is all right the bank puts a problem something which is online something goes wrong now i have to go and sit right now i will go to spend time so they distract you also so me time is there you know like nowadays at that hour age we spend time evening with netflix say from 8:30 to 10:30 11 so that is every day almost every day so five days a week so that's a me time and doing on your own work like writing a book that's also me time <laughs> one that's nice how would you describe a beautiful day or a perfect day in one word suppose there is peace of mind throughout the day that must be a beautiful day and in that if you have achieved something like my day was made somebody wrote is a masterpiece when you don't know what is the product you are given you don't know when i when the mahamoho upadhyaya wrote it's a novel interpretation of gita then i told my wife this book has value now it is confirmed by two other people who are not known to me or one is a vedic institute uh, he also has written many things you know the value addition to the field of the study of gita now i want this to reach 1 million people because uh, you know i have sent a copy to the prime minister also but he is too busy in election i told the printer he was a kanjus you no know, he never left space on the right side and bottom everything starts from top to bottom i said boss this book has to have some standard yeah i'm going to send it to the prime minister for whatever it is worth 15 days or one month over no reply obviously i don't expect any reply um, <clears throat> but um, i think this has value and uh, so the, the day is made now for five days i didn't have any business nobody asked for one copy two copies five copies that is why then i went through your uh, sample then i said okay let us talk and we fix the date yesterday night my own friend he is going to distribute to others he sent me a thing he sent the money remitted i i want 10 books so today morning i packed up went to the post office and uh, sent it off so suddenly you see the day is made by one good word or somebody asking for this book you know some good happening the day is made that's a beautiful day or you take a nap in the afternoon and the evenings of very calm and quiet so you listen to that hymn i told you maisha sura mardini at 6 5:30 to 6 and have a nice quiet dinner at home you know that's also a nice day <laughs> yes as you mentioned dinner i would like to ask you are you also a great cook apart from being an all-rounder in different fields a writer an author a banker a mentor are you good at cooking too no oh, that is one drawback you ask for weakness i was wondering what weakness that's a, i should have done it but but i have done it i have written down step by step just like my first branch government tra- transaction what is to be done open this ledger right here right there so when the lady went on leave after two days i managed the counter because i got the checklist step 1 step 2 step 3 4 done work done similarly for a few days i have got a small diary almara on the left side for each item maybe one day two days plus or minus will be there after four five days it will stabilize i got the modus operandi done i have done it also when my wife was not well but i am not a perfect cook you know that uh, this is one thing uh, i didn't have that opportunity yes i don't know but some people also you know they don't want to give it to others So that way, you know, I didn't have much of an opportunity, but I, I can manage the stuff. I got the know-how. <laughs> yes. So the next question coming up: a favorite quotation or a quote, which is very close to your heart, because you are a man. You've been a person always posting very good and informative quotes with lots of intellect filled into that. Lots of when we read it, we start thinking. It's not just we read it and forget. We begin to think. so amongst all the quotes that you've written you have written several of your uh, on your own so one very important one which is very close to your heart very uh, in the best of oh, see what has happened i was putting quotes of big people in the story part of facebook 
and suddenly i started putting my own you know in tamil they say you put your own sarak you know sarak means you know goods so you put your own and then i had a, there is something called every day somebody meets read foot courtesy mr dinakar rao i prepared for 50 quotes i could present 25 quotes in 45 50 minutes with explanation the coordinator was happy i had given a lot of information along with the quote but somehow you know somebody you know i don't know everywhere there is politics so i said okay goodbye <laughs> so these quotes i am putting i you know what the beauty of these quotes are night 130 i get something i want to tell you one important thing for the benefit of the listeners see mr op but was chairman sbi he was md of sbt 5 years before my going and uh, he, the, the, i was md of sbt he came for the board meeting after attending some coimbatore function he took a helicopter and came to north karnataka north kerala kolikod uh, or something to inaugurate the building for which he has put the foundation stone he speaks very well next tempo down to earth person and somebody commented sir he has got saraswati on his tongue you know saraswati is goddess of knowledge after a few days i requested saraswati you be in my mind i think she took a bone in my mind as i talk to some people a quote comes out then immediately i note down so somebody i put something in facebook she reacted sir too difficult i i put it immediately approximately i don't remember the exact word generous minds enlightened minds are always you know generous they forget in a, we, somebody doesn't like you but when they want help we go we don't keep the prejudice in our mind because mind is full of positive content there's no space for negativism or negative talk or negative discussion so right 130 i get up and write sometimes while talking also but i have got now 400 quotes and it's going on and down now one thing i said you know like minds find each other that is one thing don't die before you die when i told my people we once met 650 people retired uh, sbm guys and <laughs> people laughed don't die before you die so all of so many of them were important you know i do not know now i wrote on time 41 going strong an universal time not the clock time man's time you know god time and space they are all infinites in fact it's infinity so a lot of quotes are there you know learning stops no further literacy so literacy stops they get stuck you are a ba you are only a ba or for next to 25 30 years 40 years so many quotes you know it crossed my mind i write down and even if i print it there won't be any takers no so i am still wondering what to do with it put it in the blog possibly one day <laughs> so nothing like favorite quote you know many are important from many angles i i think it is saraswati who is, i am an instrument she gives me the idea as i talk something comes out and then you know after some time i quietly note down but yes. it's quite interesting that way yes yes very interesting sir thank you very much for sharing your time your thoughts uh, and i look forward to it every although i don't have the time to immediately read it but then when i uh, you know scroll down my mobile and check sir has sent it yes then i read it and it really makes me feel good yes and i really wish to and hope that we stay bonded and connected and we want all of you out there also to have all the beautiful qualities that sir has you would also focus on building a beautiful future my dear friends before we end the session there are two more questions that i'd like to ask you sir one is the best gift that you've ever received till date one is you gifted with uh, goddess saraswati's blessings that you know you have a lot of intellect and you put them on paper you put them like in the form of quotes and you share it with others now apart from that what is the other gift that you've received from people uh, who are very close to you have you received something that's really very valuable so sometimes gifts. you know the gift you know they come unannounced you know somebody picks you up they spot just just like i can spot a guy in half an hour see some of the retired people whom i have not known because i left this bank in 2001 10 years i am not here but in this group of 30 people who met for uh, you know lunch informal meeting i could spot the people who respond now i check with them only i don't go to anybody and everybody so some people you know they spot your uh, resource or spot your positive qualities and uh, they are in touch 
in fact i will tell you one incident sbi one top man sits deputy managing director in charge of seven associate banks he is not running the bank we run the bank but policy matters come and in policy matter we refer for uniform group policy i don't know him he doesn't know me except he was the chairman of the board to interview me between gm to cgm okay fortunately i got selected after that i have not met him he is in hyderabad settled down i respected him i don't know how i come to hyderabad to see my son once in a way maybe twice a year then i rang him up i don't know his background but i know that he was in new york i said i'll courtesy call sir my and my wife will come and meet you he said okay no problem he sent the address and we went there took a uber and went all the way i mean nothing much possibly i don't know whether conflict management book or something that's all he treated us very well he arranged for, for snacks and all that so spent one one and a half hours and all that now i have been sending whatsapp messages you know this positive stories positive vibes quotes experiential new i more than 100 experiential music in my facebook they are all what i see on the road what i observe in the people one day he wrote jagannathan i am not responding to every post you are doing but myself my wife and my daughter all are going through it continue the posting you know is anything of importance of high value i sent it to him and my boss my first boss and he retired as chairman md of bank of india indian bank one is rajagopal he is slightly unpredictable person but now he must have come down so i sent it to him these two people are valued clients for valued messages <laughs> but others also it's available provided they respond you know so this gift you know sometimes it comes unannounced they don't tell you who is fighting for it. i have saved many senior people i was ps to md a big file on a senior man was given to me by the md of sbi md from sbi only is posted as md of state bank of mysore some are exceptions like me now i went to i said sir i am a junior guy you are giving the senior person file to me i want you to go through and let me know i went through it i said sir there is nothing in it he must be exonerated the guy was exonerated he may not know that who influence the md to take this decision he didn't give to gm i thought the gm is there please go through it and let me know and he is from sbi he doesn't know me from origin and somebody has put as a ps md one day before so like this you know these are all invisible gifts or most serendipity we call it see the gift of meeting two important people in the vedic i am not a vedic guy nor a cultural guy or anything but how it came through sometimes you meet a wrong person also that is for another day <laughs> so gifts come unannounced and some people may not tell at all i material gifts of no relevance as rightly put in bhagavad gita you can buy a car and give to somebody you can buy a big toy and give to a child but these are all okay it has value no doubt on that it has value there are childhood values but once you grow in mind when you see the world in transcendence when the mind goes to transcendence so this is nothing when i am doing the work on my book on conflict management of bhagavad gita this is more important to me than calling a plumber or a lady waiter <laughs> it's not heavens of not fallen or there is fire there is no emergency we'll manage for two days let me let me finish the more important work so the higher the contents the more important work you have life will be much better and quality of life will be much better only those people can enjoy and explain it other people may you know it's hard work to do a project it takes hours two days all homemade my we used to gather all the dabbas all the boxes we buy keep it now last one year two years we threw away three sacks for rasdi all these can be used we can use our brain so that's it about uh, best gift <laughs> the best gift is this this flow diagram i can't forget and i've spent sleepless nights while writing this book and setbacks have been there and now i spent sleepless nights on marketing this translating it to other languages like hindi tamil i'm trying to get a celebrity in tamil to translate a uh, kannada is already fixed 
today i saw who is this person oh he has got recognition for translating books so he is the right person so i do, i do i can't sleep mind runs on good things <laughs> yes that's really nice and interesting sir thank you very much for sharing one last request before we sum up for today's session you give us three gifts in the form of three beautiful words already you have given us a lot of empowering messages the last three gifts in the form of three empowering words which could create magic in our lives apart from please sorry and thank you you could share with us any three words That's one is positivity point. straight away and next is gratitude and third one i will call it empathy positivity gratitude and empathy all our psychology nothing to do with physics or banking and most important in life you know one should know our psychology uh, in fact i wanted to do some course on psychology but i couldn't get good advice but even the self help books of psychology are good enough i have a list of 50 books i sent to some people in tmb who were is interested in fact i i opened libraries in all regional offices of tamil nadu mercantile bank sent 20 books to them four five regions i said who ever finishes the 20 books take one year come back to me write a letter to me or phone but unfortunately nobody came i would have given a prize for that there are important books life changing mind changing books now i got 40 50 of them but again you know i'm sorry to say i shouldn't say that society's response is not that good even if i want to bring an but i have two three guys i am mentoring whom i have not met they have not met me one guy is in pondicherry he was in access bank he wanted to leave and all that i sent about this book then the guy who wakes up and tells me sir he has joined sbi credit i sent two of my best books you know bible of a credit eric elfert and another book i sent it by courier from here i don't know him he has put a name not his real name i said remove your name be yourself put your name one week back he said to do it another guy in hyderabad he was in touch with me nowadays last one year he is not in touch with me so people who need advice professionally or this or that you know life is simple Men- mentors are available for free also but connecting them is a difficult and they should be interested no they think they are uh, somebody is working in uh, it they think their job they know their job they want to do what not to do etc but they should also know the self help psychology the emotional intelligence is a must the research has proved our conflict a family without conflict is a blessing <laughs> that's a beautiful blessing. one god's grace <laughs> that's a beautiful one a family yeah. without conflict is a blessing and with this we'd like to wish all the families out there to be without any conflicts to save your family environment to give lots of love to your children and be a blessing to your children and your children will be a blessing to you okay, so you, you are a blessing to us as well we look forward to many more interactions you are one person who is very down to earth very kind very humble and genuine you know whatever you shared today is deep from within your heart that's you are very transparent with what you shared that makes you extra special but you know at the end of the day it gives you satisfaction to get this feedback but i have been preparing for this from yesterday <laughs> you know everything requires a preparation is it not yes one should not go half handed you know anyway it was nice nice sharing if it is useful to somebody when they listen uh, i am sure one one dimension may be useful or another dimension may be useful but life is easy if we can make it easy but it is also complicated because life is not that easy all the favorable factors don't operate uh, two favorable factors four unfavorable factors act but there are some lucky people like my doctor neighbor in sri rangam we don't know them uh, in fact they were in government hospital we were going to the government hospital 5 plus 3 plus 3 first consultation 5 rupees 3 rupees 3 rupees and that lady is obg she started her own clinic um uh, she is upstairs she uh, rented house so we, to avoid her we go the other way around but she is such a nice person um you know what i wanted to say I forgot uh, no we were talk uh, anyway i think i forgot as i told you no at my age you know even when you talk <laughs> you forget what you want to say 
Yes. Anyway, some other time. Um, yes. So one has to do a lot of homework. Uh, you know what to say, what not to say, etc. And you know, I'm I downloaded my Zoom only half an hour before. I forgot that uh, I was using Zoom, Google, and all. Then storage space and all. My son uh, said, "What is it? You're having so many." So I deleted. It. But today, initial stuff. Thank God that uh, voice is all right. Okay, nice, nice spending time with you. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. We look forward okay. to many more interactions with you. Yeah. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Right. Thank we'll you. call it a day. Yes. All the best. Yes. You're doing a great job. Thank you, sir. Unique. Thank you, sir. My dear friends, with this, we come to an end to the International Fab Talks for today, dear friends. Stay connected with us. And of course, do us a favor. Share this video with the right kind of people. There must be somebody out who could learn a lot from the wisdom that was shared today on the International Fab Talks with Mr. A.K. Jagannathan, who's joining us all the way, who has joined us all the way from Bengaluru, Karnataka, India. And friends, if you like what we are doing, stay connected with us, like, subscribe, comment, and share this video with one and all. Stay blessed and stay safe. Have a wonderful time. Okay, bye. Bye bye. Thank you, sir. Hello, friends. Before we come to an end, my dear friends, before we come to an end to the International Fab Talks for today, do us a favor. Share this video with one and all. And if you like what we are doing, stay connected with us. Like, comment, subscribe, and share this beautiful video. Stay safe and stay blessed.